but they wasn't ready. Champagne glass with the Martinelli. Hello everybody and welcome to my room tour. Can I just flex a little bit? Okay. I'm gonna be doing the intro in the mirror because I'm just gonna make it really quick. I'm gonna be also doing a closet tour. Um, also I'm gonna apologize for the amount of times I say the word home goods and Ikea. I do have like a couple Christmassy decorated pieces in here, but it's not like Christmas room. Let's, uh, let's just get started. So I'm gonna start off with my closet because right when you walk into my door is the closet. So this is my closet. I love my closet now. I used to never show it because I didn't like it. Um, it was completely different before. We had to gut it all out. We built this wall. This back wall here wasn't even a wall before. And then we installed all this storage, which all of this is the Algot system from Ikea. So on the right over here, we have these three shelves. I have all my blue jeans folded on the top, black jeans, white jeans, I only have two pairs, pants, and then like my nicer sweatpants, I guess, just like my Adidas, my Calvin Klein's, and like stuff like that. Um, I have my hamper right there, which is also from Ikea. Um, and then I just have like my favorite shoes like lined across the bottom, just like a couple of like my most worns over here. But um, then right here is all of my tops. I have like a couple jackets mixed in between, just like everyday light ones that I just throw on a lot. But mainly this is all my tops. It's all color coordinated. I know a lot of the comments are going to be like, oh my god, does she wear color? No, I don't. <laughs> I have all my black over here, and then it starts with dark gray to light gray to white to cream to nude. So that's that's the variation of color that we got here. These like slide out, which is really cool. So I have all my skirts on top, black shorts, white shorts, and my denim shorts at the bottom. Um, and like I said, like a couple more pairs of shoes. The lighting in this section is really yellow and really bad, I know. Back here, I have this little section. Um, I have a white rug on the floor. And then hanging over here is all of my dresses, jackets, and coats. So pretty much everything that was too long to hang here because it would like drag on the floor, I hung over here. So like I said, all my dresses, all my like long trench coats and stuff like that. And then all my shoes I have organized in this against the wall like cube organizer that I got from Target. Um, I have a lot of shoes, so they're really hard to organize. I thought this was the best way to do it. There's a lot of shoes that go back there. I wanted to start making use of, like, the side walls, so I hung up, like, my furry socks and, like, my little, like, rhinestone bralette. Because I have all this space to, like, hang stuff, so... Probably gonna, I'm probably going to start doing that. After my closet is this little entry section, which this same piece of furniture was here in my past couple of room tours. I just really like this here. I feel like it's a good entry piece. I have this, like, random bag up here with, like, a fur chain and then just, like, a little black wallet. I have two pairs of heels here, and then I have these, like, gray velvet heels from Ego, which I'm obsessed with. Normally, right in the middle shelf, I'll put whatever purse I'm wearing currently, which this was the last purse that I wore. It's just one of my Chanel's. I have my Zach Posen with the first strap. You guys know I love that. I have another Chanel. Then I just have some fur slides down there from Ego that I just like to <laughs> slide on. Get it? Because they're, they're slides. Slide them on. <laughs> Anyways. Then I have my huge dressing mirror. But um, I get dressed in here. This is where I like look at my outfits. I have my YouTube plaque. My little 100,000. I love this thing so much. I hung it right here on top of all my makeup. Up here I just have some makeup. I have my brushes in the back. I separate them from like silver brushes and then rose gold brushes. This little like acrylic basket is from the container store. I basically store in here all my expensive like nicer packaged makeup is in here. Or like my newest products. I'll put them up here just so I can remember to use them like these milk products I haven't used yet I just got them so I put them right here and over here I have my Bobbi Brown my extra repair moisturizing cream it's just like my everyday lotion and I have my Marc Jacobs coconut primer I love that stuff by the way this is the Alex nine drawers from Ikea literally everybody in the world has this so like everybody I'm not gonna go inside of this if you guys want an updated makeup collection on like how to organize everything and like what's in here let me know in the comments What's that, you may ask? The dark hole in my room. Um, so this is my nerd cave, as I call it. I don't know if you guys know, I have, like, a really super nerdy, like, fandom side to me. So I buy a lot of fandom merch, and I never knew where to store all of it. It doesn't really match, like, the aesthetic that I have for my room. So my mom gave me the idea to turn this whole back corner of my room. I have my Stranger Things poster in the back there. I have this shelf from Ikea, and then all these boxes are from Ikea. I have some sonic screwdrivers, TARDIS. I have my pop figures. I definitely want to broaden my collection, but I have a couple Doctor Who. I have some Adventure Time. I have the whole entire Labyrinth collection. 
You can see Wayne and Garth way back there. Hi. Adventure Time plushies and a bunch of Adventure Time stuff in there. I have like movies and like Doctor Who comic books. Hey, and Adipose. I have anime fandom stuff. You can kind of see a no face right there. I have tons of t-shirts. I have like Labyrinth t-shirts, Bill and Ted t-shirts, like seven Doctor Who t-shirts. Um, and then I have my tripod in a purpose tour poster back there. So this is the next little part to my room. These little shelving systems from Ikea, and then the boxes are also from Ikea. And I just kind of store purses, backpacks. I have like all my hats and belts and scarves and stuff. Yeah, like I just have tons of just like bags and stuff like that in here. Um, it's just a good way to organize them. On the top, I have this little Mary light sign, which I'm obsessed with. I got this from Home Goods. Um, and then I have a little candle over here. DW Home Candles are my favorite candles. I have like 50 billion of these. I love them. But then onto this, which is right next to that, um, my little dresser drawers. This is just basically for extra clothes that I don't want to store in my closet, like pajama clothes, sweatpants, like t-shirts, all my socks, bras, underwear, bathing suits, stuff like that. Bralettes, you know, sports bras. It's not that exciting, so I won't go through it. But like the top of this is like my favorite thing ever, so I'm going to show you that. Both of these marble slabs that I have, this one actually like rotates. This is actually like a cake slab. You're supposed to put a cake on this. This one's actually like a marble cookie slab. Go to the baking section, both from Home Goods. I just have some products, either grab and go everyday products or like mar like aesthetically pleasing products. Over here I have my Saint Tropez everyday lotion. I try to put this on every day. Basically, like you put it on every day and it's a gradual tanner. I have sea salt spray. This is like a hydrating face oil, micellar water, my coconut perfume. You guys know I love this. It's from Urban. My coconut water face spray back there that I use every single day. I have my Elizabeth and James dry shampoo, which I love. I've talked about that before. And then I have a couple Whey products. I love Whey hair care. I've tried a bunch of their products from friends who've had them, and I like got obsessed. Their packaging's so cute. Amen to this company for making my hair smell so good all the time. I have this travel size of like their texturizing hairspray, and then I have like the full size of the finishing cream, and I just... I, I love it. So then right here, I have this mirror jewelry organizer, which is from Home Goods. Mark Jacobs sent me some stuff, and it came in this box. Really hard with one hand. But um, I just have a couple sunglasses in here. Most of my sunglasses are over there. But, like, I just have a couple in here that I just like to wear. Okay. Ugh, the struggle. And then in here, I just store mainly, like, my favorite chokers are in here, my denim ones, my lace ones, my black ones chain, got some rhinestone, got some random ones. It's like, another thick one. Just a lot of chokers in here. All of my rings, I literally can't talk, are over here. Then I have these two organizers, which both of these are from Target. In this one, I love this one because there's so many compartments. I have my everyday sunglasses here. Um, I have all my earrings in here. These, like, rhinestone ear cuffs, my fur, just all my earrings and, like, hoops in there. I love wearing bracelets, so I have all my bracelets here. My pins in here, I have like Drake pins and black lipstick and Hong Kong. I have some random bracelets in here and then like a pair of sunglasses just randomly chilling in there, all lonely, relatable. And I have this, just have a ton of chokers just shoved in these things. I love this. This is just where all my necklaces are. I don't even know where I got the idea to like organize it like this. I just randomly started putting my necklaces like this and I was like, oh my god, that's cute. I should do that. Next to that, I have this little lounge section, I guess you could say. I have this chair, which is one of my favorite parts of my room. This is a chair that was actually inspired by another chair that I wanted, but I couldn't figure out where to get it from. So I actually made this with my mom. We found a chair with this frame. Um, and then we tore all the cushioning and all the stuff off of it, completely got new cushions and new boards, and then reupholstered it ourselves. They have, oh, by the way, I have a white fur rug. Um, this is from Home Goods as well. So, yeah, I felt like this was empty, so I just put some bags here. I, like, like to keep my high-end shopping bags. I don't know. So I have, like, a Moschino one and then a little Calvin Klein one there. I had a bunch more, but then it started to look clustered. Then above that, I have my clothing rack, which is from Ikea. I have some fairy lights on top of it, which I think make it really Christmassy in here. And then I just hung some like aesthetically pleasing pieces here. I changed it up for the season. So since it's fall, I put like the coat. I put some sweaters and long sleeve shirts. Yeah, I really like the Christmas lights. I feel like they just give a really pretty look. And right next to this, I have my desk area. So the stool that I have, 
This is actually from Home Goods as well. So on top of the desk, which the desk is from IKEA, I have this little like marble notebook and then this little like to-do thing. I have this like acrylic thing which is from Container Store. I have this little like, I don't know, sparkly Christmas ball, which I just stole from the basement. And then I have some marble post-it notes. Um, I just have pens in a pen holder. They're pop-in pens with like a white pop-in scissors. Don't comment about how dirty my laptop case is. I know, I need to clean it. But this is just my MacBook, how interesting, with my marble case, which is from Amazon. Hey, have another mirror. This is from Ikea. Oh hey, here we spot another DW home candle. Not sponsored, just love these candles. And then this is where my filming happens. You thought I was going to say magic, but no. I'm a Christian young lady and I love the Lord, which is, this is mainly like my background for my videos. I mean, recently it has been. So I have two matching bedside tables, which they're both from Target Online. I don't know if they sell them in stores. They don't sell them in my Target. So I'm assuming they're only online. Is that in focus? No, it wasn't. I'm sorry. Well, I got this from the container store. I just have these candles in there, but they're Bath and Body Works. And obviously they don't go with my aesthetic. So what I did was I got sticker paper and I printed out some quotes from my We Heart It page and just wrapped them on there so really good DIY and then I have my bed I have tons of pillows who doesn't like sleeping with a lot of pillows it's really cozy and if you don't like sleeping with a lot of pillows then there's something wrong with you these ones back here are silk these are just plain white I have another plain white little one in the middle this one you can't really see but it's like a leather pillow which is really cool and then I have these two white pillows which are from Target I think and then I have this like gray fuzzy blanket from home goods my actual bed is from Ikea it's a day bed this closes up and like right where those thingies are it turns not into like a couch but just like a smaller bed I don't know it gives me a lot more floor room I normally do that when I have friends coming over um, but then these have drawers on them in there just like my Bible, random books, like random stuff like makeup wipes, stuff you put in a bedside table and I just have like food, I have food in there. This I got from Ikea just a couple days ago from the kids section. It is a polar bear. I named him Justin B. Bear. Get it? Because he's like a bear and I knew I was going to name him Justin. I was like, oh my god, like Justin B. Bear. You know, Justin. Justin B. Bear, welcome to the family. Then we have my other bedside table. On this, I have this marble Christmas tree, and then I have this, like, white glittery Christmas tree. I also have this, like, aromatherapy pure thing. This is, like, the large one. It runs for 10 hours straight, and it just kind of, like, sprays mist in the air. It, like, is supposed to help you get better sleep. It relaxes you. You basically put, like, water and essential oils, and I put peppermint one because it makes it smell like Christmas in here. So that's basically it. Justin's just chilling. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Um, comment down below if you want to see any videos that I talked about throughout this, like a makeup collection. Let me know if you want to see a bathroom tour because I don't have one of these on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below to get a notification the next time I post a video, which I post every single Friday. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Did you like my room tour? Did you think it was cool? Would you subscribe, Justin? What? This choker is choking me to death. I'm pretty sure that's what they're supposed to do, but still, it's not fun.